Hello, this is Dr. Haskell again. And this is the, the last presentation, um, and I'd like to explain about what we really offer um, uh, to the public. Uh, first and foremost, I think the most important thing we're offering is an education. This is, I feel, what is lacking in the system right now. Uh, it is the, the education that really ensures the individual who's receiving treatment that someone understands what is going on. Someone understands the reason or the causes of their condition and understands the ways to uh, remedy the problem. I truly believe that if we can engage the intellect and the mind and the heart in treatment, that this um, intelligence is what what um, is sort of a coupling of what we're doing physically by taking supplements and uh, thyroid medication, uh, coupling it with the, a belief system, which is extremely important in, in recovering. Uh, I believe also that we're, besides the education, well, in addition to the education, we're giving these videos, which you've been watching. Um, we can also uh, help uh, people start on the right supplements, the regime that's, that's based upon research. You now have, or I should say, if you don't, you should be purchasing the book by now. It explains in detail about the supplements that are suggested for uh, resolving Hashimoto's. And every supplement suggested, the dosage, the milligrams or the micrograms, um, taking those does not need a physician to give you guidance on that. There's nothing that I'm suggesting in this book that will do any harm as far as um, uh, taking the supplements that are suggested. Again, I do suggest anyone who is serious about uh, recovering from Hashimoto's, uh, it is a must purchase uh, my book read it from cover to cover. Um, it helps you to see the big picture, not only about Hashimoto's, but also about hypothyroidism, and will be um, add a lot more clarity uh, as far as the second stage of treating Hashimoto's. It offers a, a sort of roadmap, an overview of where we're going. So what help do you need? If you can take the supplements and you can maybe get your physician to do order some lab tests, how, how can we help? Um, you need to have the lab tests done, whether you do it through your physician where you live or if you order the lab testing through us. In the book, and I've also mentioned in the videos, the important lab tests are again the TSH, thyroid stimulating hormone, vitamin D, ferritin for your body stores of iron, um, the red blood cell, white blood cell, the liver enzymes, the lipids, the estrogen, cortisol, I mentioned all those before. Those are extremely important to, to know where we are at the starting line of, of getting your health back again. The second is you need someone who uh, is able to prescribe for you um, either uh, cytomel to go with your, with your levothyroxine or a compound at T4 and T3 or desiccated thyroid hormones. This is part of the services that we offer. But again, you can find, possibly get those through your physician. Um, the other important point is to uh, be followed, following up, to be followed by someone who has the experience to know about the beginning dosage and how to inc increase them uh, over um, uh, every seven to 10 days over a month's time to find that, that point of equilibrium of your uh, thyroid hormones. And again, another reason why you need um, either us or your physician who is knowledgeable is to know about when to start doing some lab testing to find out when it's time to go into the second stage um, of treatment for Hashimoto's. Again, uh, there are obstacles that need to be addressed that maybe most physicians don't know about uh, would be low adrenal function or low, low cortisol. There's an approach for improving uh, levels of cortisol, whether it's going to be possibly through nutrition again, which we've spoken about, uh, or through supplements uh, to support the adrenals, or the possibility of having to use cortisol in low doses um, a few times through the day. And we're very experienced with uh, treating adrenal fatigue. Other things to address would be low progesterone, how to improve progesterone levels um, through either bioidentical creams or sublingual progesterone or by changes in nutrition. We also
also have to deal with increased estrogens in the body, how to reduce them. High estrogens will cause your thyroid hormones to be unbound to what are called thyroid binding globulin. It's very important to get estrogen levels down to um, close to optimal. Uh, we also have to deal sometimes with the ecology of the bowels. Often women have who have been on birth control pills and taken lots of antibiotics have an imbalanced um, uh, condition in their gastrointestinal tract, primarily the small intestine. That ecology of what's in that bowel is extremely important for the recovery of your health. And so many times I've seen that that is somehow connected with the, a woman developing uh, low thyroid hormones um, due to this overgrowth of fungus known as candida very often. We also have to often deal with um, heavy metals, especially mercury. So all those protocols um, is that overview is what's really required to get people into uh, getting into a, p a point of getting of starting that second stage of treatment for Hashimoto's. This is what we're what we're all about. And what I suggest is you go to our if you're serious and you've watched all the videos, go to our website, which is advancingthyroidcare.com. You can download the Hashimoto's packet, which will explain uh, more about our services. Um, and how we are set up to kind of interface with our clients, uh, which will be through uh, phone, but primarily uh, by um, Skype. As we like to deal with people visually, uh, audio-visually. It um, tends to uh, increase our relationship, improve our relationship, and um, uh, having a more personal relationship with, um, with our clients. Um, we're also... Um, you'll find in this packet also um, a um, kind of a working uh, agreement, uh, mutual agreement between ourselves and our clients, which outlines uh, our role and our responsibility in this relationship that we are committed and we're committed to provide a high quality care um, and how we go about doing that. And this mutual agreement also outlines your commitment and what you need to do to take full responsibility for your health. This is by your involvement and by you taking responsibility for getting educated and adhering to our, our guidelines and our recommendations. It does not mean that we're not flexible, but um, you have to understand um, to what degree you're committed to getting well and to be honest with us. And we have staff and support that can act as um, um, help, in, help you to set goals and to uh, find ways of remaining motivated. I know that often people that are not feeling well have a difficult time with change of lifestyle and kind of habits and mental beliefs. And that's where we need some help. There's nothing wrong with asking for help. But remember, with Hashimoto's, there is no quick fix and there is sort of no magic bullet. Taking levothyroxine is not a magic bullet. It will not get you at all close to feeling well for most people and will not get you to the second stage of then optimizing your health. It really requires a, the treatment of Hashimoto's requires a medical approach which is based on science and is based upon medical research. Um, it does almost always require a prescription and it requires a physician and um, a backing of an organization uh, which is knowledgeable about this condition and is dedicated to advancing not only the health of the individual but also the field of medicine. This is our mandate, is to work with the public one-on-one one -on -one to educate large groups of people, thousands and millions hopefully, and also providing information uh, to physicians and other institutions on how we can provide a viable and effective approach to treating Hashimoto's and helping people to recover their health. So please go to our website, Advancing Thyroid Care, for that packet, uh, and also for the purchase of my book, which is um, Low Thyroid Hormone Symptoms, Seven Solutions, Seven Causes and Seven Solutions. And in that book, there's quite a bit about Hashimoto's uh, and about the other uh, causes of hypothyroidism. Thank you very much.